Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. When I was little, I took piano lessons. I wanted to take them for so long because all of my sisters played instruments. What I didn't know was how much practice was required to get as good as they had gotten. And there were so many days as a kid that I wanted to go outside and play or go to my room and play with my toys, and I just didn't want to practice. But I did know that on the other side of that practice, there was a benefit if I continued and didn't quit. The word of God tells us, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. This applies to so many things in our lives, whether it's jobs or family responsibilities or other obligations. There are so many things that may cause us to feel weary, tired, exhausted over it. But the word of God is reminding us that we don't have to allow ourselves to get to that place where we're just so done. Now, it doesn't mean that the task is gonna be any less exhausting or tiring. What it does mean is that we have the opportunity to shift our perspective and change the way that we think about doing good. Doing good can even apply to our own health care. Taking care of our bodies is a lot of steps and moving parts, right? But as much as that is sometimes tiring, we can remind ourselves right in the midst of that, that if we do not give up, there is a harvest on the other side. So I pray that whatever good you're doing, that you will remind yourself today that there is a reward on the other side of the challenge. And if you don't give up, you're going to reap a harvest. I love you. I'm praying for you and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one.